Uh, one person in the chat here, deplorable RAI, he says, where is Nibiru? Is that where a real is... thing or is that just, does it exist? Uh, yeah, Nibiru exists. You can see it. Um, some people have seen it recently. Uh, it's been visible in our solar system since 1983. Uh, is that the one that's kind of hiding behind the sun or something? I don't, yeah. I'm, I'm not tracking all that, but I certainly believe it exists. Um, you know, I've talked to uh, people that have uh, claimed to have been from there, channeled information um, even 20 years ago um, from ambassadors from there. Um, anything recent on that? Well, that's one of the reasons that they moved our planet. Um, oh, yeah. It was to get us out of the gravitational pull of this planet because they, the the galactics, and this is back in 2016 when we, we actually physically moved to a different different part of the galaxy. Do you remember like, when Venus was in a different place and doing different things? Venus? No, I, all I remember is our, on the spiral arm, we used to be what out farther, now we're in. Yeah, we're closer to the galactic center and we used to be out like kind of toward the outskirts. Of, yeah. of, and, and so in 2016, um, I asked, you know, and mostly asking him, like shaking my fist at this guy, like telling him, like, when is this gonna happen? Like, <laughs> Jesus, guys! And so uh -huh. uh, they said, when um, <laughs> when this happens, there will be a new bright star in the sky. And um, that night, I I was on like one of those astral journeys, and I went to um, this place in between worlds, and I did this like ceremony where they had me like stick my arm through this fog of like this wall of fog and I was bound to somebody on the other side of it. And they, they had me like pull my arm back and everything kind of shifted and moved. And they said, okay, when you go home, remember that you're the, the heavens and earth are closer together now. So be careful with your manifesting abilities. They're stronger for everyone on your planet. And, um, after that, uh, something strange started happening where Venus was rising and staying up um, all night long. And it was, and it was moving in the sky where usually it would just rise in the evening and then set or rise in the morning and then set depending on what time of year it was. And then at the same time, you know, they, the, the natives started reporting that our, our, our solar, our star positioning was different, that we weren't in the same place anymore. And so, um, so, so they must the, have just transported like the whole solar system, and then, because everything, obviously, if it was just a copy, uh, that'd be a lot of, I guess you could do it. I guess we don't even know what the uh, What explains, I don't even know how to explain that Venus <laughs> is doing things, because what is Venus known for? The morning star or the evening star. Because, for example, in the evening, when the sun sets, you see Venus follow it, right? I mean, I, I'm not a big those astrology that guy. <laughs> <laughs> those that pay attention to the sky, like myself, that's what happened. And then this time, it's like it stayed up. Well, and it was even higher in the sky. And we even had, uh, like, um, aboriginal elders uh, of different, you know, indigenous leaders and tribes say, what's up with Venus? What's going on? And so, I mean, I remember growing up, there was really only one big bright star. And it was the northern star and or the north star. And... Now we have, the, I mean, the planets are just larger. They're bigger. You can see them uh, with the naked eye. They're, they're just bigger in the sky. So it seems that we're closer to them. And the explanation that the galactics gave me for this was that they wanted to pull us, they, they wanted to get us out of the gravitational pull of Nibiru and also out of the direct path of a large asteroid or comet that was headed towards us. And so, um, and so I, that indicates to me that Nibiru is a real thing. And then, of course, people have been posting pictures on the Internet of what looks like a second sun. Yes, um, yes. That's what I was referring to. And I think that could be Nibiru. But that's just a speculation. It's just interesting that they can see it in some parts of the world and not others. I don't know if they have holographic stuff going on up there so we can't see it here. Well, they did tell me a few months back. They said a new. Re they said a red giant was passing through our atmosphere, and it would only be visible to half of the planet. And so, mm -hmm. um, again, maybe this is Nibiru that they're talking about. I'm not. I'm not really sure. They they're kind of cryptic, and they like to speak in riddles. 